Right now, it's at the slow rate. C, colon, backlash, right angle record. And, um... Let the screen have it on there. Mm-hmm. Is the, um... Normally, I have in the computer when I power it up, it powers it up and then reads an auto exec file, which that file has the uh, program in it to, to load it. And it does a few things to check on the computer when it's powered up. It'll send a message to the deck talk and change its voice. Communication. Okay, okay. C, colon, backlash, W, T, period, N, E, C, file, closed, no lock. <coughs> file display installed, right and present, left shift to activate. File display installed, right and present, left shift to activate. No new, we've got new period. C, colon, backlash, greater than. What it does is it sends a message to the screen that lets me know that it's working and reading the screen. It first sends the same message to the deck talk, and that's the reason why you get two is saying the statement twice. One is sending directly to the deck talk, the other one is reading the same message off the screen. But it also checks to see what keys are pressed, like the num lock key or... Scroll lock. I can tell when the scroll lock or num lock or insert keys. Scroll lock. And... Insert. Insert. This... I change the voices to indicate, to emphasize certain things. So when it's on, it, it goes into that deep voice or off. It emphasizes it with that deep voice. In a deck talk voice, they call that voice Harry's voice or uh, a military drill sergeant. I just call it a command voice. and whenever it gets to a capital versus lowercase. And, um... Batman, do find C, colon, backlash, greater than. It'll read everything on the screen. A, B. So if I uh, type... C. Or move the cursor over to reprint it. D, D, E, F, G. It'll read the screen as it is, capital or lowercase. And if I delete it... G, F, E. It also changes the voice there. D, D, C, B. And the voice will change whether it's capital or lowercase, even deleting the character. So I know whether it's capital or not when I'm deleting something. And also the thing that I add to it is that I can do every single DOS command. It's also a file program. Directory for C, colon, backslash. Number of files is 433 directory, states used. 3,285,305, A, one period, colon, main menu. What I did now is I press the Alt-O key and then the Alt-P key, and that loads the program for the files. What it does is it takes all the files on the directory and sorts them into alphabetical order and stores them in memory. And all I can do now is I'm at the main menu and I've hit the F key. File event, A, one period, colon, that takes me into the files, the list of files, and if I were to, I can search for any letter of the alphabet by typing the F again. Find first letter, landlord period, colon. I hit the L key and it goes to landlord. And if I were to hit the L key again with the find, it would go to the end of the L. Find M period, colon. So it goes to the first letter of the letter M. L, S, T, period, back. But if I back up, it goes back to the last letter in the L list. Mm -hmm. But these are, in other words, I can uh, find out whatever's in the uh, computer, Main menu. including subdirectories. Directory commands. If I go into dir directory mode, sub directory, directory right now it's C storing all the directories. Now, you wrote this program, and, and now how can uh, other people use this? Uh, how did you implement that? Okay, the uh, this program uh, is just a a regular small program it actually only takes up 25 26k of memory and uh, 
what you do is at the very beginning, it's, you can put it in an auto exec file or you can put it in another file. If you put it in any auto exec file, it'll, when you power up the computer, it'll read the file and load it into memory. And you have to load it into memory before you run any other program if you want the computer to talk. And also, too, you can't load it into or run the program while you're running something else because it won't work. Mm -hmm because uh, other programs modify things and use them. And when the TSR program comes in, it, it'll update the modified version. And when you get out of the other program, you'll also lose the, uh, the uh, TSR program, as they call it. So okay. it has to be done right at the very beginning on Power Up. OK, so, but you wrote this program and implemented it, and it's now available on the market? I been thinking about putting it on the market, I just haven't done it yet, mm -hmm. but it's available. And uh, the only thing is right now it's only set up to be used with Deck Talk, mm -hmm. digital equipment, voice synthesizers, but it can be easily modified for any kind. Okay. And uh, that's, it's right now just tailored to it because the speech in the Deck Talk, uh, you can change uh, voices from male to female or kid's voice or uh, deep or a whispering voice. You can even have a whispering voice on it. It can do anything. Now, hasn't this been done before by other people who are computer literate or blind? Yeah, they have other uh, voice packages on the market, but they're very restricted. You can read the screen and that's it. I see. This program allows you to uh, locate files that you want to look for. It'll only display uh, the directories or subdirectories if you want to know what you have and it will tell you how much space you have left on a disk mm -hmm. and it will tell you how many files you have on a disk. Take, take